So continuing on from my previous video, now I'm going to show you how to draw a circle in complex numbers. So they usually take the form of say z minus 2i is equal to 3. Okay, so okay, I'll show, show how to do this graphically rather than uh, how to work out the maths of it. So again, uh, z, my arbitrary vector z is going to look something like this. Right, and two is there. Right, so basically my z minus two i is that one or right there. So z minus two i is that one. Okay, so it's the same reasoning as before. If that's two, if two is going that way, minus two is going the opposite direction. So doing the whole head to tail thing, I will end up with z minus two i pointing that direction. Right. So basically, what it's saying is that this the length of this vector the length of this vector has to be equal to 3 all right so okay I'll, I'll draw this again so that's not clouded Oops. Yeah, forgive me okay so that these are my axes so to draw z minus 2 z minus 2i is equal to 3 it's simply going to be uh, the center is going to be 2i, right? And the radius is going to be 3. Uh, this, this should be 5. And there you go. So this is going to be a really bad circle, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so basically, any of my z minus 2i vectors anything the length simply has to be equal to three okay so you don't have to draw this yellow bit but you simply uh, need to draw the circle that was a bad drawing but you get the idea so i'll do one final example so let's let's suppose i have uh, z uh, plus three plus two i has to be equal to uh, two right so again this time so what I'm going to do is remember it's actually the opposite of this 3 plus 2y the opposite in the sense that if it's 3 plus 2y you take the negative of that so it's going to be negative 3 and negative 2 is going to be the center and the radius is going to be 2 so in this case it's going to go through so it's going to look something like this. Again, a really bad circle, but you get the idea. Okay, so you simply take the negative of, of this number over here and start drawing it. And that's uh, and that's it. So if you, I'll I'll show you if you really really want to work out the maths behind it, which is completely unnecessary. Uh, you would need to go. You had to say z is equal to x plus i y. Right? and you will need to collect the, uh, the real and like terms together so in this case I will have uh, x plus 3 plus i times uh, y plus 2 has to be equal to 2 right? so again remembering the definition of a complex number is simply square root of the real and the imaginary parts you will end up getting x plus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared. Now because it's square root, I'm going to square both sides instead and it's say equal to 2 squared, right? Now this thing you should, you should recognize is simply the equation of a circle. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but thanks for watching.